you get me. What's good everybody, it's your boy Larry L. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing something really, really cool. Uh, the great people at Folkleg sent me this doubler. It's a MIDI microphone, it's a USB, hooked straight into your computer. And then you open up this app right here. It's a standalone app and it connects through MIDI into your DAW, whatever DAW you have. It's uh, easily accessible and easily installed. So we're just gonna be cooking up a beat from scratch. I have a loop that I made. We're gonna be adding drums, counter melodies with my mouth. You trigger them into the microphone and it picks them up in your DAW and in the doubler app as well really cool so we're going to be making a beat from scratch with my mouth nfl studio and the vocal aid doubler make sure you like comment subscribe if you get me don't forget to hit the link down in the description make sure you grab that let's go let's create a new profile in the doubler app this left side right here is for drums the right side over here is for melodies so right now we're just going to turn the melodies off and we're going to be working on some drums you just click this add button and we're going to trigger a kick first so you just train the microphone to hear certain frequencies so when you like do a kick drum into the microphone, you train it and it'll pick up 12 different variations. So if you do slightly different sounds here and there, it'll pick that up, which is really cool. All right, so let's train it for a kick drum. Let's add another one for a snare. Let's do a hi-hat. Stick with a kick, snare, hi-hat for right now. Uh, what we need to do next is go into FL Studio, open up the FPC, make sure it's on empty. We got the right pads here. All right, so kick drum is this one. Let's go ahead and load some samples in real quick. Kick. Fire. Let's do a hat. Let's do a rim shot for the snare. That one's cool. fire let's do it all right i got this loop loaded up when you hit record up in the top make sure that's on notes we'll do a count in let's put an empty pattern here first let's listen to this loop So let's just record some drums to that we'll put a metronome on the bpm is 147 i matched that already Let's do it. Probably gonna quantize the kicks, or maybe not, you know, I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure. Let's just listen to it first. I'm sure it's gonna be off time a little bit because, you know, I'm not a beatboxer by any means. Not bad though, without quantizing at all. So like every snare, I'm just gonna boost it all the way up in volume and the kicks as well. Oh yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention with the vocal is that there's a velocity switch. So if you click on one of these, you could turn the velocity on and off. So you could turn that off so it's the same volume and the same velocity every hit. You can turn that on and off depending on which sample you'd like. I usually keep it on with the hi-hats because I want that velocity switch up in the hi-hats. And we're on a swing triplet, so we're going to go to one-third beat. I'm going to highlight just the kicks and get those locked in with a quick quantize control Q. There we go. That one's off. Make sure the velocity is all the way up on these kicks. Minus, I think, like this one, all these like little triplet gallop kicks. I'm going to turn the velocities down on those guys. I think I'm going to erase these hats and record some new hats over those. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to copy this, clone this FPC down. picked up some of the kick drums but I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those yeah I like that I'm gonna try adding a, a counter melody to go with that maybe some sort of lead 
I think I'm gonna open up Flex Doubler. Let's turn off those drums. Turn on the melody side of things. And then we can edit. You got an input level, a stickiness level, octave shift, pitch, bend, range, and then MIDI channel. Go to key. We are in the key, what did I say? C major. So you could just go, if you know the key, change it here so that way you don't play any wrong notes. So we're gonna switch to C major. And you have these effects here too. You got these A sounds, E sounds, O sounds, and then in like an envelope as well. This is like a pitch wheel. You could turn on and off certain notes that you don't want to play, which is really cool. That's what's cool about doing it with this microphone, because if you don't play keys and you're not that good at keys, sometimes finding melodies is, is tough just with clicking notes in. So I think it's really cool that you can use this microphone, do it with your mouth. Even if you're not, it, it doesn't come out that great. You can tweak little things because you can get things out of your head that you wouldn't have otherwise. So let's try it out. You gotta fix it up, but I, that's what I'm hearing in my head. Some of these notes are off. We're gonna have to quantize. Let's throw everything into the mixer. I'm gonna add some EQ to that flute and the main melody. Let's do the main melody first so we can let that flute shine through. Get those lows out of there. I hear the end of the sample right here. I wanna take that little tail, make it unique, reverse it. If you guys know me by now, you, you know I love doing this, like little reverse reverb in that sample. So when I make loops, when I make loops, I like to keep the tail for this purpose, actually, for doing stuff like this. Stereo delay a little bit. Dude, that sounds like. That's nice. All right, now I think we need some bass, and then we should be done. Let's open up 3X Oscillator, create our own sine wave bass real quick. I'm going to throw it to the mixer, add some distortion real quick, just so we can get some presence in that. EQ, and a fruity bass boost. Let's go back to the vocal A. Damn. <laughs> So I put a little bit of a structure on it. I want to take this flute. I want to make it sound a little bit older. I'm going to put some RC20 on it. I'm going to try putting RC20 on the bass too. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of noise. Go on. I'll put it on follow. I'm going to switch the vinyl to two on both of these. I like the vinyl two a lot better. Yeah, so I think it's pretty much finished. I just got to do a little bit of mixing and whatnot. But yeah, the basic idea is there. I'm going to play it for you guys right now. Make sure you hit that link down in the description. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you get me. Thank you.